Oh my gosh, it's Libra season, Twin Flames, and that means it's autumn. It's finally fall, and I have a special message for you. It's a powerful message for all Twin Flames, Divine Masculine and Feminine, from the Foxfire Kitsune deck, which is, as you know, one of my favorites. All right, so let's see what the Foxfire is saying to us today we have the first card coming up is the gift of connection so you have a very strong connection to the universe right now as well you have a strong connection to your heart and to your twin flame so it's important for you to honor that connection the gift of connection it's not something that you need to look over. If you're in touch with your twin flame, honor that, right? Connect with that. We're going to talk more about this later because I feel like it's going to come up a little bit later. The second card is about acceptance. So are you accepting who you really are inside? Are you accepting yourself and your twin flame? Are you accepting your power? Are you accepting your divinity? This, I feel... There's some clarity that needs to come out here. So let me just set those to the side. Don't worry, we're going to pull more cards. Born with a gift. Okay, now it's actually becoming clear. So let's look at these two cards, right? What's the same? They both have the word gift on them. So whenever I see doubles, when I pull cards, it's like the universe is like, hey, pay attention. The gift that you were born with, oh, this is what a lot of you are talking about. Like there's some people who are like, oh, not everybody has a twin flame and or there's only 144,000. Neither of these is true. Everyone has a twin flame. Just not everybody has woken up to it. So the, the thing, okay, yeah. Big twin flame sign, there's a butterfly. There we go. Message is finally coming out. Sometimes when the cards come out, you're like, what, what is this saying? Um, now I get it. What the universe is telling us here is that your heart was illumined, not by you, but by spirit, by your connection to spirit. So if you can see both of these pictures, the woman in the picture is holding something. Here it's a necklace. Here it's a golden egg, right? You have something precious. You have something precious, which is the knowledge that you are a twin flame. Everyone has a twin flame, but not everyone knows it, right? This is something that you need to accept about yourself. Now it's coming full circle. So what does that mean? The fact that you woke up to your twin flame journey and you realized that you had a twin flame. This is important. Don't take this lightly. This is not something that everybody has awoken to. So don't like, I don't know, this is a really drastic thing to say, but don't throw it in the trash can. Don't treat it lightly as if it was like small potatoes, right? I'm going to pull more cards. We're having a, a message come out here. We've got the golden moment. We've got the golden egg here in the golden moment. Yeah, this reading, if you take away anything from this reading, it's, you have been blessed to know that you're a twin flame. And some of you are like, oh, I feel awful, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. But you're burning away the veils that are shutting you out from spirit. However, some of you may not know this, but you do get to be with your twin flame. And it doesn't just happen to you. It doesn't just happen if you wait. There's a specific process to heal. So it's one thing to not know who your twin flame is and you just go on living garden variety lives and your white picket fences and 2.5 kids with a soulmate husband that you can't stand because you guys aren't supposed to be together because you're not twin flames and you come home, you eat dinner and you go to separate rooms and you can't stand being around each other. But now we're giving you a golden moment to make a new choice. Do you want to be with your twin flame? Oh, I can't be with my twin flame. I don't know how. I know the way to be with your twin flame. I practice the teachings of union. These teachings that I learned, I am now a coach who guides people on their path. Um, and I can help you. I'm currently living with my twin flame, Josh, here. 
Um, and I am living with him only because I follow and practice the teachings of union. These are the real deal, guys. These will guide you into harmony permanently with your twin flame. That's what we're about. It's all about love. It's not just about taking bubble baths and painting your fingernails. It's about like really loving yourself and really loving the parts of you that are calling for love. Like pour that love into your heart. And I have some techniques to do this that I want to share with you um, if you want to try an introductory session with me. We've got be still a while. So just kind of let that sink in. What I've just shared with you. That you are you didn't just like happen upon this journey. You didn't choose this journey. You chose to continue the journey. But you didn't get a, you didn't illumine yourself. Your heart did. And your heart is divinely inspired your heart belongs to god right so just let that sink in for a second dance with joy joy has been such a theme recently my gosh okay well it's time for you to be happy right i want to help you to do that i don't want you to feel bad anymore on your twin flame journey and i can help you there's a process you just follow it and you will attain what your heart desires. That is why my website is called Twin Flames Hearts Desire because your deepest desire can and will be yours. I want to wish you a lot of love and many blessings. This was a beautiful reading. It was accompanied by Citrine for abundance and Carnelian for the sacral chakra, your creativity, your center of reproduction. Thank you and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like this and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.